Happy Easter! It's Easter Sunday. I curled my hair for you. Um, I am going to do, because it's chilly here today, rainy, icky, and we're all stuck inside, I'm going to do some warm-up drinks. Classic Americana, the Old Fashioned, and the Manhattan, which take the best of booze. So we're going to be working with rye whiskey. I've got some Templeton rye that we had stashed away and Booker's, which is a really nice bourbon. So we'll go ahead and make some nice warming drinks with those. These are very strong drinks. Um, they are not for the weak of heart. And if you want to try one and you're, you know, not used to just sipping straight bourbon, um, it's a nice break from it, but it might need a little more sugar if you prefer sweeter drinks. So just know you're going to taste the whiskey. So, so get good whiskey, A, and then add sugar to taste, B. So we're going to start with the old fashioned, which you do in a rocks glass, just a classic little short glass. Um, this recipe calls for a sugar cube which is not just a great band, it is also a cube of sugar, which no one owns. So if you don't have sugar cubes, you can use simple syrup or you can use a teaspoon of sugar or more if you want. Um, I'm gonna just do the cube in the bottom of the glass. You can put in your simple syrup or your, you know, just table sugar. And then we soak it with bitters. If you have a selection of bitters for some reason and you have orange bitters, those are fantastic in this because we finish this drink with an orange, um, but just plain old bitters is what it's called for. So we're going to soak the sugar cube with bitters. So just get it nice and soaky to where it's all brown. Like so. And we just let it soak in. That's gonna soften up the cube, and what we're gonna do is kind of muddle it down so that it blends with everything we put into the drink. Um, it takes a little bit to get nice and nice and mushy. There we go. So take a spoon, or if you have a muddler, you're a cool human, so muddle it. Um, we're just gonna smash it down in the bottom. It'll smell really nice. And there we go. On this one, I want to use I want it to look pretty, so I'm gonna use an ice ball. Um, it does call for adding the ice next. Uh, I'm actually gonna disagree with that and say we put our whiskey in first. I like it to really blend with the sugar, and I think the ice stops that a little. So let's go ahead and do. This is rye whiskey. So on these two drinks, the original actual drink calls for rye whiskey, which is a little different from bourbon. Um, and it is pretty strong stuff. So let's do a shot. Let's go one, two, three. And kind of mix in a little, stir it a little, so that that sugar kind of seeps into the, into the whiskey. You can use bourbon on this, absolutely. It's not, I don't think people are too purist on if it's bourbon or rye whiskey. The difference is in the mash. So whiskeys are grain mash. Bourbon is right here. This one's from Kentucky. That's gonna be barley. This is gonna be rye. Oh, I'm sorry, no, corn. I'm sorry, bourbon is corn. Whiskey is barley, bourbon, corn, rye, rye. They actually taste fairly similar, so you can switch them out for both these drinks. So then we got it a little stirred. We're gonna add our ice cube. So do, you know, if you like a lot of ice, that's fine. I'm doing this little ice ball guy that I have because it's cute. I like it to look kind of fancy, so that's what I'm doing. Your bourbon shouldn't go over your ice. So if you have a lot of ice in there, you know, keep it, keep it low. It should be really, it's like sipping on a shot is what you're doing. Uh, and then we're going to finish it with my favorite thing, which is a burnt orange. So you can really just twist an orange, get the little oils in there and drop it in your drink. 
that's fine. I like to burn them because I apparently have issues. But if you just twist it up and light it, and then you get your little poof, you get your little the oils there. So let's just heat it. Just gives it a nice extra burnt flavor. And then you finish your drink by sticking that in the drink. So on that orange peel, as big as you want, because sometimes you can have them stand up. They look really cool. This one fell in, but it's big, so it looks kind of neat. That's what you want. You want it to really finish off the drink, look cool, and have a lot of orange flavor. You don't want like a little tiny twist. You want a big, fat piece of orange skin. Uh, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a maraschino cherry in mine. I have those bright red ones. The real bar ones are like the dark black looking cool ones. So if you can get your hands on those, cool. If not, my little fun fruit salad of one is, is perfectly appropriate. So that's my old fashioned. Let it chill a little bit. Yeah, you can light your breath after that too. It's pretty strong. So you should taste a lot of the orange. Um, seriously, if you want more sugar, add more sugar. Um, but you should, you know, halfway through this, you're not going to care. So just, that's a sipper. Don't chug those. So I'm going to put that on the side and we are going to go to the Manhattan. The old fashioned I know comes from Louisville, Kentucky. The Manhattan I think is also from Kentucky and I don't know why they call it a Manhattan. I've never understood that because it's, you know, whiskey or bourbon. Um, and then you're going to do sweet vermouth. There's, there's no apple in it. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's never made sense to me, but whatever. You're going to have a chilled martini glass. This is a strain. So you're going to do a little swirl and strain. So this is nice and cold. You're going to get your shaker. You are going to add your alcohol. I'm going to do Booker's bourbon, which like I said, bourbon only from Kentucky corn mash. So it's sweeter. Um, Bourbon's lovely in just about everything. So if you like bourbon, you can do it in either of these. Like I said, you'll do a large, big old shot over ice. And then you're going to add sweet vermouth. Now, sweet vermouth, I didn't have. <laughs> um, I have dry vermouth. Vermouth is a wine, a fortified wine. So I took my dry vermouth and I added some Malbec, like just some red and some simple syrup, which made it basically look and taste like sweet vermouth, which worked for me for now. Um, I recommend buying sweet vermouth for this drink, but if you can, if you have to make it, that's how you make it. And then you pour that into your shaker. Now we do our bitters again. Um, bitters, it's not really to taste. I think it's three, one, two, three, count of like solid shaking. Um, they are strong. So again, kind of, it is to taste really, um, on the Manhattan, I am going to add a little bit of simple syrup to mine. It does not call for that. So you don't have to, it's a very strong drink. So just be ready for that. You're going to taste bourbon. If you love bourbon, this is your drink. We're going to swirl it. No shaking, just swirl. Should be nice and cold. Your glass should be chilled. So you kind of do the little ooh, pretty dump it. Chilled glass. Let's get this guy in there. Ooh, I sloshed a little bit. Um, so you're gonna see something here. If you're serving this to people, I it's not a big deal, but I don't like when there's ice chips in my martinis. So take those out. I got like three little ice chips. It doesn't look good. So take them out. We are going to do, so that's, that's a Manhattan. Garnish is just a cherry. You can plop it in. So it sits on the bottom of the glass and looks really cool. I'm going to do that because I think it looks neat too. Or I just put the little, you've got a, um, a spear that you can put in 
and then it just sits on top of the drink. So we have a really pretty little, little guy there. So Manhattan. Yeah, these are, these are those like, you know, grow hair on your chest kind of drinks. But they're really, really good, classic, warm you up when it's chilly, just a nice sipping drink. And if you happen to like, you know, smoke cigars, that's, drink that with that and it'll be good. Um, so I think that's it. Those are my, those are my Easter drinks. Uh, I was going to talk a little bit just about the whiskey situation because people, people always have questions about whiskey. I didn't get any questions on my, you know, weird booze stuff. So maybe you guys already know. And if you've hung out with me ever, you've heard me yell about it. So you probably do know. Um, but as far as whiskey goes, like I showed you, we've got the rye. I'm just going to leave this here. So whiskey covers all of them. They're all whiskey. Then you go to scotch from Scotland, right? And that is malted barley. That's why you get that weird kind of peaty, mossy taste on scotch. And then scotches, I mean, you can go into scotches where it's just so many different types from smoky to peaty to clean to blah, blah, blah based on how they're aged and what little oak barrels they're aged in. But scotch is from Scotland. Irish whiskey is from Ireland. And that is not malted barley, so it's just barley. Um, and those are the things that you use. Scotch is not a mixer. Scotch is a sipper. Irish whiskey, of course, in various, you know, you can, you can mix Irish whiskey with just about anything and it, it tastes okay. Bourbon is the American version. So, and it's only from Kentucky. Uh, it's there's all kinds of laws on how much it has to be processed with and it's that's corn mash you take that same corn mash and you move it to Tennessee and you run it through maple wood that's charcoal uh, then you get Jack Daniels which is also a different taste I know you guys know this um, and then you go to Canada, which doesn't have strict timelines on their aging. And I think that's where you get the, the crown royal taste. So, you know, they're all very different. So when somebody says you're going to make a whiskey drink, you got to really know which, which whiskey you're using because some of them are sweet. Some of them are earthy. Some of them are gross. <laughs> some of them are really good. So you just got to know which one you're looking for. Figure out which one you like. I have decided for me to sip, I really love bourbon. So that's kind of my favorite, but you pick yours and you can make a good drink with any of them. But this today is only bourbon or rye whiskey. Got it? No mixing up of other stuff. If you have Crown Royal and you want to make these, you're going to ruin it. So don't do that. Do other things with Crown. Crown is wonderful in other drinks. Um, so that's my, that's my Easter special for you guys. I hope you're having a lovely day and eating hard boiled eggs and I don't know, ham and whatever else you can, whatever else you have with your families and with, you know, your pets and whatever creatures you live with. Um, anyway, I will talk to you soon. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and we will get to drinking my, my fancy drinks. <laughs>